what's going on guys hope everybody's having a great day we are playing some dragonair silent gods this is a sponsored video so huge shout out to dragonair for sponsoring the video you can download the game using the link in my description as well as the pinned comment there's also a promo code for you to enter as well the game is available on windows as well as mac you can get it on epic and steam players as well as ios and android mobile platforms in this video we're going to be talking about the grave of rot i already have a team prepared we also talk about some potential replacements for champions in that team if you don't have them, but you should have most of them or some champions that do similar things. But first, let me tell you about some of the new stuff in season three. So obviously we have 31 new champions and you'll have like an exclusive summoning pool, exclusive opportunity to get some of those season three champs. We've got new damage types coming with champs so some really powerful champions coming into the game. We now have aura champs we have shadow champs and we also have corrosion champs so these are some really strong damage types coming into the game especially you know coming off ice blast coming into the game that was really really strong coming in in season two so more you know strong champions in season three i love it we've got some new you know artifacts as well so new exclusive artifacts um because there are a few new exclusive champions we've also have a ton of new gear sets um, and i love these new gear sets especially the one piece gear sets there's some new dungeon boss mechanics as well so all of the dungeon bosses the primary ones that we farm other than goblin um, have gone through some changes there are some new mechanics with all of these bosses here that we farm um, and i broke that down in a video as well there's going to be new Fey Meander bosses um, and obviously a new sandbox to play in. So we have the Sea of the Dead, I believe, is the new sandbox. Um, and it's a nice, you know, underwater sandbox. We have a, another underwater sandbox similar to Bottom of the Misty Sea, which, you know, came in season two. So a lot of new goodies, a lot of new stuff to do in you know season three but let's go ahead and talk about the grave of rot we're going to be looking at stage nine and um there have been some changes here with the grave of rot actually and they're, they're not like crazy changes right but on the ultimate ability if they are inflicted with debuffs he dispels all the buffs from the tank when he devours it right so if you build your tank with some resist or just to make sure your tank doesn't have any debuffs by the time this skill comes you're not gonna lose your buffs other than that i don't believe that there are any changes that happen with any of the other skills in the kit um so we're gonna go in actually with a fire radiance team i feel like that was one of the more accessible teams that i could make to show if i would have went with like a ice poison team it would have been pretty pay to win um, not to say we can't do it like with accessible champs, but just for everything that I wanted to bring to the table, right? So I wanted someone who could potentially either cleanse or give us debuff immunity. I feel like debuff immunity is the safer way to go. You could come in with a cleanser. I would recommend two cleansers. Um, we have a shield champ that also provides us with attack penalty, also accuracy penalty which helps we have Garius who is our tank he's going to be very self-sustaining Adolphus going to be providing us with some shields as well as some heals and we have one DPS champion in Erich who everyone should have by the time you get to season three you you would have 100% had an Erich unless you just you know didn't really log in um, and just pass through the seasons which I'm not even sure how that will work but let's go ahead and um and run it see how it runs um and then we'll just break it down a bit right so this first rotation actually the first two rotations of the boss we will have debuffs on us which is why this comp in particular i was only able to get one dps in here i tried to make it happen with two but two dps weren't able to survive the first two rotations of the boss before this debuff immunity really um gets in the swing right so as you can see some people still have healing prohibition on after this next rotation after this current rotation actually we won't have any issues with um 
heal, healing prohibition. Now, we will get recharge speed penalty on us. It's not the end of the world. Um, and the poisons you can't really avoid because the boss is going to put poisons on you whenever you do damage. So, kind of difficult to get around the poisons unless you're just cleansing them every time that the poisons are being put on to you. Um, so, you got to just kind of like deal with the poisons but healing prohibition won't be an issue for us as long as you have um catherine set to go just before the boss uses the first skill so that is actually set in the skill timing i have her set to skill time to activate right before the boss uses this and it is on an 18 second rotation um and so pretty much we're going to get this debuff immunity right here now i could delay it a few seconds more that way we have it um, to cover both of these debuffs and we won't have to worry about the recharge speed penalty but as you can see like everybody's not getting recharge speed penalty on them it's just expiring you know as soon as the boss does this so <laughs> some people a few people are getting the recharge speed penalty maybe we're just resisting it here I know that I built this Garius with some resist so he does not take a lot of debuffs that way the boss isn't stripping his buffs when he uses the ultimate because then he's going to do more damage to him and we're not bringing in healing prohibition ourselves so the boss will heal if if the Garius was getting stripped here the boss would heal by a lot more because he's going to strip that increased defense that he has he's going to strip um you know anything that he has on him which you know could be doing any damage mitigation for us um and we don't want that because we don't want the boss to heal at all as you can see the boss is not really healing garius is not really taking much damage having attack penalty up while that happens helps a ton as well and we actually have healing prohibition on us now so the recharge speed penalty is actually affecting us um quite a bit right now so we actually should probably change like this is going to work perfect this is going to be a, a solid run here but let me go and edit the skill timing a bit um because i don't want i don't want the recharge speed penalty um at all right so if we go look at the skill timing of the comp Catherine right now is going at 21.5 we have until 24 seconds to make this happen so the closer we get there let's actually just do 23 seconds right uh that was the issue <laughs> she should be on 18 seconds so that is why it wasn't working all right but everybody else is set i pretty much have him going just after the boss uses this skill um so that we get attack penalty consistently before the boss uses the ult it's not going to be great because his recharge time is 18.7 so we can't get him on a full 18 second rotation i don't think i can get anybody else on full 18 second adolphus is close at 18.4 but his skill doesn't matter as much as long as he's protecting us catherine does have on the hourglass is how i'm able to get her down to an 18 second rotation but let's go ahead and and run it again now and we shouldn't have any debuffs on us except for poisons after the second rotation of the boss so this is the first rotation here we're gonna have you know healing prohibition on us we're gonna get you know recharge speed penalty on us it's gonna be fine you just need to survive two rotations of the boss here's the second rotation here and now the debuffs will start to fall off but as you can see, our DPS is getting a little low on HP. And now the healing prohibition is about to fall off. These are 30 second duration buffs that the boss is placing. And now we will get immunity. And we should have immunity and be receiving no debuffs whatsoever. We shouldn't get recharge speed penalty. We shouldn't get healing prohibition on us. We are immune. The only thing that we will have on us, like I said before, is the poisons, right? So you can't get around the poisons. It's a part of the boss's passive. Um, the poisons are going, they're, they're just gonna, they're gonna stack, all right? Every time you do damage, poisons are gonna stack. 
but you don't have to worry about heals. Now you can heal, and now you can, you know, do things with with the right time, right? Because we don't have that recharge speed penalty on us. Um, the boss is not healing much either, even without us not having healing prohibition. So this will run. It's not a fast run by far. I could probably build a much faster team here on the test server, but um, this team will work, right? And for the most part, these are all epics and accessible champs, right? Elminster was a D&D collab. A lot of people, you know, may or may not have him, but you can easily replace him, right? We already have Adolphus bringing a shield. You want to bring in somebody else that can provide you with attack penalty, you know, that's fine. Decrease accuracy. Um, you don't really need it, right? Because we're blocking the debuffs. Uh, so yeah you don't really need the uh, decrease accuracy but this run is um is coming along it's going to be safe there's no issue you can set it and forget it this is a full auto team very easy and so we'll go and look at the champs after and see how could we potentially replace these champs how could we potentially build other teams in other elemental affinities oh, and the boss got a little bit of a heal there but it is fine because we should be finished very soon. Probably one more alt from Erich and we should be about done. Catherine is such an amazing epic though. Oh my God. She's like perfect. Perfect for this dungeon. All right. And we're just finishing up the boss here. Come on, hurry up, kill him. And obviously there are way better, you know, DPS options to use than Erich, but he's a free option. And we finished the boss. So let's go ahead and take a look at the champs, right? Erich, right now he has the eyeball on. He's in a ruler set. He has a uh, one piece precise carnage on. You can or cannot use that. You know, you don't have to use it. Um, he's not always hitting when there's defense penalties, so it doesn't make a huge difference you can replace this guy with any dps bring in any dps you might even bring in a better dps than him that can also provide you with something else maybe they do damage and they provide you with attack penalty or healing prohibition if you don't want to use someone like catherine right so if you don't want to use debuff immunity you're probably going to want to bring in a cleanser you're probably going to want to bring in somebody that you know can give you healing prohibition if you're not you know building your tank with resist um, but these are just some of the things you can bring in to actually defeat this boss. So cleansers, attack penalty, or debuff immunity um, instead of those cleansers. You definitely need someone to heal. Um, so we have Garius providing heals. Adolphus also providing heals. Catherine also providing heals, right? Adolphus and Elminster also providing shields. Elminster providing attack penalty. Control immunity doesn't matter here at all. And, you know, Gary is just tanking. He's providing heals and Eris doing DPS, right? So if we go look, let's see if there are any champs that we can, you know, just easily replace Catherine with. Because blocking uh, debuffs, right, or debuff immunity is, um, I don't think is that where is it first of all is it special is it special is it that special no it's not it should be up here somewhere i'm 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 pretty sure that you guys are looking at it there it is and uh i was just missing it so thea also does it actually um grants invisibility and debuff immunity to all allies all ranged allies so as long as you know you have ranged allies which most of them will Everybody except your tank is going to get debuff immunity and then you can just, you know, build your tank with resist. This is another option. She can come in and replace Catherine. She's not going to, you know, be as good as Catherine is because Catherine is also going to heal everyone on that ultimate ability. So you probably want to bring in another healer with her because she's going to do... Um, 
single target healing for the most part so heals the ally with the lowest current hp and the allies with invisibility so i guess if you have invisibility on um you can time it right so that everyone does get a heal but i wouldn't like fully rely on that so we do have some options um and obviously there's probably some legendary options you can use as well if we look at uh gladros here he provides debuff immunity and a shield um, on his ultimate ability so he is a tank that can provide you with that um, actually he's a support he looks like a tank we got vex who has a debuff immunity um, on the ultimate skill as well garion is providing debuff immunity single target on his battle skill um, so that's not very, very helpful. Estella doing it on the battle skill as well. So we want someone who's going to do this AOE. Catherine's a, a solid option. Thea's a solid option. Gladro's a solid option because he also is going to give you a shield as well. And um, <clears throat> basically his shield acts as debuff immunity. So it's not, it's not. It's not the most reliable either because as soon as that shield gets broken you lose debuff immunity so it's not actually debuff immunity right this is probably the champion that you um will want to replace the most in this comp if you don't have um so everybody else in the comp erich the dps champion you could get by you know with any dps as far as like shields right there's plenty of shield champs most people should have adolphus by season three if not there's a ton of shield champs you can bring in here to you know provide you with some shields you could very well do this without shields if you have enough heals if you have attack penalty right so as far as like shields and attack penalty there's a few champs that actually do both for you um, everyone's not going to provide an AOE shield, though. But um, you could very well run, you know, a team in any one of these elemental affinity combinations and get this done very easily just using the strategy I use. One DPS, one tank, shield champs, attack penalty, and debuff immunity. As long as your tank is not taking a ton of damage from the boss, you won't have to worry about the boss healing at all. But that's going to be all for this one, though, guys. Hopefully this video helped you out. Be sure to download the game using the link in my description as well as the pinned comment. And I will see you guys on the next one. Be good and be well.